Hey guys, it's Tree with TriStar Dragon Fruit. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to root dragon cut-ins. Let's say you just got your cut-ins in the mail, it arrived, looks just like this, healthy, it could be shorter, longer, whatever it is, right? Um, you want to make sure the um, bottom of the cut-in is dry out before you dip it in water or soil or else um, there could be a risk of um, root rot, okay? In my past experience, you know, I've done so many I have so many to root where I didn't have time to leave it out and dip in water or soil and I just put it down the soil and sometimes there's one that gets root run some don't but if you do get a little yellowish in the bottom just don't worry about it just you know pull it out let it sit for a while dry it out and then dip it back in or just snip it off and then let it dry and then scrape up a little you can do that too you can do whatever you want um, um, whatever method you prefer but in the past, I've done a lot of soil rooting. I've done a lot of water rooting, okay? Typically in the summer, I like to do soil rooting. Why? Because summer, it gets really hot up in the 80s um, during the day and the soil, it's very heated. It gets very heated and there's no need for me to put in water. So um, if I'm gonna root the, this in the, so in the soil, all right? One criteria for me is I got to make sure the temperature is hot outside. If it's not hot, if it's um, cold uh, season, like right now, winter season, I'll do water. So from spring, which is around March, April, till all the way up to October, I prefer to do soil rooting. Um, how do you root in soil? Well, first of all, um, you gotta make sure, again, you gotta make sure it gets dry out at the bottom about one day or two days. By the time you get your cut in, it should be already dried out, okay? Um, it's very easy. It takes about two weeks uh, in the summer for me to get a root, so about two or three weeks. Whereas in the winter, it can take me about one to two months or a little bit longer, okay? Um, so when you get a cut in, just get, get a one gallon bucket, whatever you have at your house. Um, this is my t food container to go, got from my wife. Just, you know, make sure it's dry out. Just dip it in about one to, to one, one to two inches to the bottom. Get a little, make sure it stands up very steady. Get a bamboo stick, tie it up. There you go. Just like that. Oop. There you go. You, you, you don't want to do that, right? So you want to make sure you get a bamboo stick, okay? Um, all right. So that's how you root with soil. With water, same thing. I love water with the heat pad. And make sure your water is very clean, okay? You can change it out about three to five days based on the water uh, uh, color, all right? If it's very cloudy, change it out um, and dip it in. Uh, and put. If you have a heated mat, great if you don't can you know it, it's not gonna hurt you but it's gonna help you a little bit if you have a heating pad um, get a heating pad if you want um, a little bit water that's all you need and just dip it in just like that a little bit water and just let it sit and forget about it guys just forget about one to two days come back and see how the water is if if the water um, needs to be refill you know just refill it and I refill mine because I have a heating pad when you have a heating pad the water evaporates quickly quick quicker than without heating pad so you gotta keep filling the water in um, if you want to speed up a little process a little bit you can get a rooting hormones right I've been using this for many years it works well any rooting horm hormones work it's dragon fruit guys um, you can read the instruction in the bag and put in as much as you want in the um, in the rooting pot but that's pretty much it guys um do you guys have any questions let me know in the bottom uh comment box make sure you like subscribe and um i'll see you guys next year thank you guys